Is that where you, get, where you want to be, Aline? Or her parents? I don't know. Whoever passes next. Oh my gosh. Scary things having to plan, you know, one's funerals and deaths and things like that. Estate planning. That's what it's called. Estate planning with Lena. I can just imagine the YouTube video. Hi, I'm Lena. Have you planned your estate yet? If not, give me a call. Very much so. Oh, I have lots of videos of me using DIY gel, though. So don't you worry. Just when, when this one's over, you can just go to one of our older videos and check them out. Do you guys want to see what our eyelash line is going to look like? Can I take these off? No! Why not? Show them. I have other ones, Lena, that I can show. They are not enough. I think we should have double stacked them. No. Yeah. They want to see you, that's why. I look scary. Why do you look scary? I look scary. How so? That's, scary. It, that's impossible, Lena. How can you look scary with those glamorous black butterfly wings? Yeah, we did. I think the design that uh, Lena is wearing is a little bit too evening realness, but I'll show you guys like, one of the daytime looks. We gotta do the feature, feature stripper look for Lena. So apply. <laughs> no, I'll show you one of the other prototypes. I just wanna take them off. Why? They look so pretty. <laughs> They're too much. So this is medium sculpted almond and we will be cutting them down unfortunately so that way she can have very very short baby woman nails. Okay, let's make that one minute inside the dazzling darling cup. I hope also everyone is staying safe too, and I hope that there is no gas, gas shortage where you live, because that is scary, Mary. So this is the prototype. This is what they're going to come in. Open them up, and they are made with vegan or fox minks. So it's made out of synthetic mink, and they are very light, very fluffy. Maybe tomorrow we can put some on Ignacio. So that way, one day Lena gets fake eyelashes, Ignacio gets fake eyelashes. Look at that. Aren't they just fluffy and like ready for the party? Oh, they're so beautiful. And the one that Lena is wearing is probably three times longer than this. Yes. They're like, cover my eyelid. <laughs> they're three times longer and three times thicker. Not enough. Nina looks like she's ready for the party. She is the party. Mm. 
and they're gonna be super affordable too. So now we're gonna trim these down, unfortunately. I'm gonna use my gold tip cutter. Which ones? I was gonna say, Luna, they're about the same size. So now let us tailor the shape, make sure it fits nice and snug on her phalange. Make sure those sides are nice and straight. Free it at a 45 degree angle. See, look how cute that is. It's very natural looking. It's very soft, very natural, very everyday kind of look. Yeah, I was watching the news today, like parts of um, south, like eastern parts of the US and southeast are the ones without gas. I'm like, that is scary, Mary. Who? of them hacking so now there's a gas crisis like in the 70s when jimmy crisis carter was president and you could only get gas on certain days he was a peanut farmer do you like peanuts Lena? you haven't said that in a long time I'm okay. That's Lena saying, hey Lena, do you want to? I'm okay. Because we have an opportunity. You know, people are, like, they are panic buying. Gas? Yes. Just like the people who, like, were, like, storing up toilet paper, they're doing it with gas. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. Yes. Do we have gas here? No, but I expect it to go up. Really? It really sounds like we're in a video game with this music, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna use the golden wand bit. We're gonna begin the blending of the cuticle area. What is everybody saying? Um, they're saying that we, uh, we want a short exit short length. I will buy them all. And then Antonio says he has a short length. Yeah, we have the mini sculpted series. Those are already pretty short. We probably more than likely won't be making anything shorter than that. And if you do need the nails shorter than that, you can more, you're more than welcome to uh, trim them down. Uh, says, even the sport length is too long for several of my clients, so I always end up trimming them. Yeah, but if your clients wear them shorter than the sport length, you can probably just do gel manicures on them too. Because if they're that short, I would just probably have a real nail with um, a nice gel overlay. You could do like a plumping manicure with um, press-on gel, and that looks really pretty. That's what Ignacio wears. And it's maybe a little bit faster too because you don't have to put the nail on and then cut it down if it's, you're gonna cut it down to pretty much the, um, the nib. Do you know what I mean? Cut them down too, too short. So now let's go back in with the diamond mani. 
Ugh, little naps, I hate them. Super low speed. Let's go in and blend. That's all you need to do. No need to produce them any shorter. I was gonna say, they're already pretty short what we have already. It's your best friend. No, it's your best friend. Your best friend. Selena says, need reflective gel polish back in stock. <laughs> It'll be back in stock very soon. Hi Matt, how can I remove my gel nail using your remover? You file the nail down and then you apply a coat of remover magic. You leave it on for a few minutes and then you can scrape it off. And then if it doesn't come all the way off, you do it again. Mm-hmm, you have to do it in, uh, in uh, stages. So maybe about three or four layers, depending on how thick the nail is. And then I would recommend like a coarse file to uh, remove the residue and make sure you avoid contact with the skin with the remover magic too. Pretty old already that tire. We're gonna take the diamond, whoops, diamond prep. But before we do that, let's remove the dust. Oh no, because I almost got in an accident in my truck. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. Um, I drove in a little small puddle. Like I was turning, mm -hmm. I drove through a small puddle in my the back end of my truck, flung to the front. <laughs> like we slid. I drifted. Oh my gosh. And it was because of that tire. It was like bald. So. You thought you were in Fast and Furiously? Basically. And I almost hit this lady. And then I stopped right in front of her. And like, she was screaming, you know? Like, <laughs> she was screaming, <laughs> watching me go closer to her. Oh my gosh. And I was screaming because I was getting closer to her. That's scary. And, um, yeah, I didn't end up hitting her, but we were like, <sighs> And then I drove away. So we're gonna take the diamond prep bit and we're just gonna make sure there's no dry skin. Luckily, nobody was hurt. And look how clean our cuticles are now. I'm just gonna make sure that the free edge is nice and even. Nothing's wonky. surface of the nail using the pink smoothie buffer. Like work with me Lena, work with me. <laughs> it's very important to remove the shine off the entire surface.
Relax your fingers, Lena. <laughs> This way. There we go. So now we're going to use a pink number eight. It's a beautiful, like mermaidy nude color. So one thin coat. This color you can definitely layer if you want it deeper. Isn't this pretty, you guys? It's like a lip gloss effect almost. Do we buff the colored nails, for example, dazzling beige, 24K, frozen, pink glitter? I buff them all. Yes, the only ones we don't buff are the French or the ombre. Because if you uh, buff the French or the ombre, you will remove the effect because it is hand applied to each nail. It's very artisanal, if you will. So in order to respect the integrity of them, we do not buff them. Did you put some on this one? I didn't think you did. No? I think I did. I remember putting the glitter on there though. Yeah. Okay, let's bake that 30 seconds. It was BB, what number was it? 31. For her accent finger, we use BB31, so we're gonna give her a good little shake. Where'd the sticker go, too? Is the angle okay for everyone? Okay, you can take it out now. So we're going to use BB31 for her ring finger. A nice heavy coat. So that way she serves the glitter. Oh gosh, this color is so beautiful. Did you get lots of goodies? I saw the picture briefly. This glitter is so beautiful. Have you seen the Joy Luck Club yet, Lena? You wanna watch it tonight? <laughs> well, when you get home, you're gonna get home eventually. Partying, that's what they call you, Luna the Stanley. It starts with looking for a tire and then it just leads to a all-nighter, a binge. <laughs> so now we're gonna bake this for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling lamp. And we're going to use stickers number 67. Very geometric fuchsia teal. Very pretty, very, very pretty. Let's have a little sip of water. The teddy bears on her nails. She's so mean. Or the lemons. The lemons. These ones are cute. I like these. When are you gonna let me do what I want, Lena? You do do what you want, Matt. You chose these. Yeah, and then everything else you chose. <laughs> we have to make it cohesive. I deserve. I used to have a client that would say that. Shout out to Miss Marilyn. 
from where was she? she was from San Diego, but her husband was from uh, where was he from? Minnesota. Hastings, Minnesota. I remember that. So, to apply the stickers, you guys, remember we're going to remove the sticky layer of gel, the oxygen inhibition layer, using our hand sanitizer because it does not contain al alcohol, it contains ethanol. So it will not leave any water residuals on the nail. I'm gonna air it out a little bit and then we're gonna apply our stickers. And she would make her husband take her to the casino because that's pretty much the only thing here. And when they would get in a fight, she would say, I deserve my casino. I don't know, I've never tried it with another hand sanitizer. <laughs> but give her a go. Give it a try. Matt, do you miss your clients? Do you want the truth? Or do you want to hear a beauty pageant answer? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Remember never to put the stickers too close to the edge. She says yes, with a little <laughs> sweat one. Who asked that question? The answer is, I don't. I don't miss my clients. I don't really miss anything about it, actually. I don't miss having to wake up early. I don't miss having to stay late. I don't miss the pain in my shoulders. And I feel like what I do now is more fulfilling as a human being. I feel what I do now makes more of a difference in people's lives. And I feel that... Uh, that was a great chapter in my life and I did it for a really long time too. I did it for over 10 years as both a salon owner and as a nail technician working in someone else's salon. And I feel that I uh, learned a lot, but I also feel that um, what I do now is uh, what I was meant to do. That and also uh, run for Senate. So make sure you vote for me. And I'm really lucky that I am able to manufacture and to make things that people use in their everyday life. And uh, it makes their lives better. It makes their job easier. It's really cool. It's very rewarding. You're welcome. I hope you like my answer. Mm -hmm. Did you like my answer, Lena? That still sounded like a beauty pageant. <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> Why did it sound like a beauty pageant answer? I don't know. <laughs> A little bit, a little gemstone-y. Mary says, I received my prize the other day. Love it. Thanks again. Awesome. She won a prize? Yeah, she, we did a giveaway. And she was the winner. Yoli picked the, uh, the winner that day. It just accents it a little bit. Do they ever contact you so you can do their nails? That's um, the uh, sometimes, yes. But, um, ooh, do you guys want to hear some gossip? Do you guys want to hear some drama? It's nothing really serious. But uh, sometimes they do. But the clients I keep now, 
um, like Yoli, like Miss Mosley, um, who else? Cherry, Andrea, they were, when I decided to, uh, huh? Claudia, when I decided, I used to have 300 clients when I did nails uh, full time in the salon, so I was booked up like all the time. Um, when I decided to switch over from uh, working in the salon to being a manufacturer, a lot of my clients were very unsupportive of my career move of my decision to change the direction of uh, what I was doing. And the ones I kept now were very supportive and um, are accommodating to what I do now. So I'm very grateful that uh, they are still my clients, quote unquote, but now they're more like models. But um, you might have noticed that there were some models that uh, used to be models and they're not anymore and um, I don't know I just felt like they were very not as accommodating to my new my new career if you will because I mean doing nails is I don't do nails for a living anymore now I run a corporate company I run a beauty empire. That's right. Hi. Look, we're gonna add some Prisma glitter. Actually, it's really nice to work on it with uh, the um, silicone mat. gonna pay me <laughs> that's right thank you more happier now I mean of course when I had the salon I was really happy at the time but uh, there gets to a point where you're like ugh again I don't know if it was burnout or what would you call it but I was kind of like ugh, I want to do something more with my life and I think it came also from I didn't like the way people talk to me because clients can sometimes not be the nicest people even here we experience that too sometimes it's via email. People just come off so mean and so rude. I'm like, there's no need for that. That attitude. Privilege or... Attitude. Yeah, but privilege, but like not in a good way. It's like because they're paying you for something, they feel like they own you. I feel maybe like people that work in the service industries are treated like that sometimes too. I'm really lucky I was never, well, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily be lucky, but I never worked as a waiter or like in the service industry, but I have like, all my jobs have been associated with the nail industry. But even like, even then I, I still have like really bad experiences. And when I was really fat, I had a really, really bad experience. And they told me I was too fat to, uh, do the demo on stage and that I should translate from the side and I was like behind a screen so that way nobody could see me so that way the company would not be embarrassed. Ridiculous. True story. But you know, 
everybody has growing pains. And I'm really lucky that I think I took it and I, I grew with uh, that criticism. Nice, nice. Let us bake that. Just a few seconds later. Just 10 seconds. Okay. Yeah, it happened a long time ago, but I mean, it doesn't bother me now. At the time, did it bother me? Um, I think I was more hurt, but I also had to see it from their point of view, too. So we're going to do a nice, even, thin coat of Maxi Magic Film Glue, because we're going to do our rhinestone hack. Go ahead and put that in 10 seconds. And I mean, there were also a different culture, too. So that also has sometimes <laughs> lost in translation. And Cody says, oh lord, my OCD just kicked in. <laughs> They're playing too and playing up Neil's nails. Or Anthony is probably like, <gasps> she's like, breathe. Gloria fix that tray. <laughs> no, Gloria would just lose it all. She's like, it's gone. Just toss it. <laughs> Do you guys like the rhinestone hack though? Like, move it around, Lena. Turn your finger upside down. It's upside down. It doesn't go anywhere. So cool. Nobody sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> so now I encourage everybody that works here at enocouture.com to gain weight. We I don't should. want to. We're trying to lose weight. No, you guys need. You guys are too thin, too skinny. You need to eat more. I'm gonna oh. put like scents in the air so that way they're they feel cravings. They're like, hmm, I feel like eating some Evil. funnel cake. <laughs> Evil. Churro sounds really good right now. Oh. <laughs> See? Fine. We're not limiting ourselves, but We're still. Not, the word is depriving. We're not depriving ourselves. It's a good thing to just get more confident. No, you guys are depriving. You guys are withering away. Exercise. No, 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 no. I wonder if there's like vitamins. Like, remember in Mean Girls, she was like, oh, I eat those bars to gain weight. I wonder if they have something like that. Well, I provide my own water and my little snacks, so you can't do that to my, my own stuff. What? <laughs> Switch it out. Look how pretty that is. Kimmy's like weight gaining snacks. <laughs> oh, good idea, Lena. No, I'm not going to be taking any snacks. Why? Because. You're just going to say I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay, Max. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, let's bake that. Maxi showed me the Maxi Magic film trick after I placed an order. I can't just place an order for the Maxi Magic film. Yeah, you can. So now we're gonna do two coats of Wonder Gel and seal everything in so that way she don't go anywhere. Got plenty of weight to spare if anyone wants it. <laughs> the girls here. I wonder, Aww. like back in the day, like at Pan Am, at the airline, the girls would have to like weigh in, and their waist would have to be like certain sizes and things like that. I'm like, I wonder if I could do that here, where like everybody has to be like 500 pounds, and then we can be on like on my 600 pound life, or what is it, the Two Sisters? What's that show? I don't know what it's called. You don't know what it's like to be in this body. What's her name? Fat Amy. <laughs> oh, poor Amy. Don't they have like season two now? Really? I wonder what ever happened to Nonek Ed. He was such a, a moment. The Thousand Pound Sisters on TLC. Not gonna be like that much. 
つ<笑>Ready to go dancing with those suckers. So, what is the size of a Hooters girl uniform? Antonia would know. Antonia. Do you make a uniform that, like, a 500 person person has to wear? Like, we all can fit in it. It's just gonna look weird on us. (laughs) Oh, like a, like a, like a toga. Basically. It'd be nice for our very, very hot summers. No, it's not. Another 30 seconds. Because it would be breezy. I Today, what was the weather in Dallas? Like 60-something? And here it's like 90-something. I don't know. Wouldn't it be nice if it was in the 60s? I love a lot of clothing. <laughs> they said, I love how you realize that Lena broke the dress code. <laughs> She was being <laughs> sly, but Mm-mm-mm. right up, Lena. Right up. No, oh, I need a warning first. <laughs> you already were. And you already caught it. I already clocked out, so <laughs> you can't do that, Max. <laughs> you did it. Um. Uh, what is it? Maliciously. Maliciously. There's no ill intent. <laughs> It just looks nice with my dress that I'm wearing today. <laughs> and the lashes. The lashes are just too much. The lashes are payback. <laughs> See, not you say that you got revenge. Revenge of the nerds. <laughs> Max has to 
Bubbles, I will pick that. She does. <laughs> but look how cute they are, you guys. Very mermaid, aren't they? Mermaid and very like gemstony. So a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil to keep everything nice and hydrated. And there we have it. Beautiful, look at that. What do you guys think? I see something about the Hooters uniform. What did she say? She says the Hooters uniform is small and extra small. Shorts and skirts. Shorts and skirts. Is the food good at Hooters? Um, I've only gone there for Wing Wednesdays. So like... Is it good? That's where we're going to have our next Christmas party. Cool. <laughs> You're going to be like, we're the opposite of you. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Well, you guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. And I will see you guys in the next live video. Bye, everybody.